It was focused, I would say, is the best way I can describe it. You don't really have energy for anything on, other than that because, you know, you're hungry and you're cold and the weather is unpredictable, so you're kind of at its mercy. And uh, uh, But you, you can't, uh, you know, be unfocused because you never know when it's going to, but the conditions are going to be right and you have to start working right away, I guess, after... Uh, kind of sitting around trying to stay warm and you're in like you know the the coast in a cave at like uh, two o'clock in the morning shooting all night running over rocks you know in small sandals and I have big feet so it's like it's uh, it's all it's all challenging but again it's like it's a rare opportunity to play uh, uh, characters from this time period or under these circumstances so why I mean, it's kind of like it's it's par for the course I think hunger is uh it's also the i mean that helps a lot with the scenes because you're i mean you're very much a live wire you, you know you're uh emotionally kind of all over the place a little bit but you uh, don't have a lot of energy to add anything on top of the scenes you know which is good you just have enough energy to kind of uh, listen to what's happening I'm always weary of any group of people that get together and uh, I guess just get together. I'm, I'm weary of groups of people. <laughs> but uh, faith is something, that, uh, obviously in this story it's a religious context, but for me it, it made more sense than any kind of relationship, any marriage or uh, family relationship or any commitment to be an actor or a writer or you know, a bus driver or uh, you know, a librarian, any, any, any job. It, it's not uh it's filled with ups and downs and doubt and that's okay that's a that's a, that's part of believing or committing yourself to anything is is constantly questioning at every stage of your life uh you know if if what you're doing then makes sense or if it's who's it bettering or maybe it's at the time it's not bettering anyone or uh and that's that's fine that's that's what it, that's the painful part of being alive yeah Yeah, just that idea that that it can be the religion. It's, it's the boundaries of this movie, but it can you can't substitute it for anything, any any relationship. You, you, it's not as simple as making the commitment to do it, and then it's then it, then everything else is just resolved by faith. And also just the theme. I mean, kind of like in a you know worldview. You know, it's a, a very much a story about a culture that feels attacked by a kind of foreign. You, you know, uh, Jesuits were known to. Uh, why it spread like wildfire, you know, at the uh, uh, in Japan is this particular sect of Catholicism because they would go to a, a different country and adapt uh, the culture as opposed to you know obviously imposing a Western idea, uh, and that the uh, Nagasaki was kind of known as the Rome of of the East because it spread uh, Catholicism, spread Christianity, spread so rapidly. And so you have a government that doesn't like that, that wants to, that starts to feel like they can't see themselves or they're losing their history and wants to reclaim it and, and are completely justified to behave how, you know, whatever means are at their disposal to accomplish that. And even if that means killing people or persecuting people, and I think that's sadly very relevant still. He just gives you a lot of freedom and encourages you to make everything specific and he has the great ability. He knows his subject matter very well, and he also has a great sense of film history. So he has a great way of capturing it, you know, visually and making it very cinematic. And those kind of, and, and it, I mean, a lot of emphasis is put on how much of a great filmmaker is and his vast film knowledge. But even just as a person, he is very interested in everything, and that works his way into his movies. He's interested in not just film history, but you know, history and, uh, um, uh, you know organizations, hierarchy, you know, forgiveness. Uh, the, the, he's an interested person, and that makes his movies interesting. St. Peter is the person I had in mind, where uh, he just, he is, is not fully drank the Kool-Aid, you know, and he's, uh, then when he's tested, he rises to the occasion, but uh, that he just doesn't, he's constantly evaluating where they are. He's taking stock of being alone uh, with this other person that's a friend of his and 
suddenly he feels like he is alone because that, that person's more committed to him. And what does it mean that he's not as committed to what it is they're doing? He doesn't see immediately the effect of 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 why they're uh, of them being there and uh, that I, that I that I relate to.